Um, have you have you created any other intercultural learning tools, assessments, media that you'd like to tell us about? Yeah. So um, as we were talking about a bit earlier, um, so uh, a few years ago, I think back in 2017, I um, had been kind of working on this for a while, but but decided to share it with others in 2017. So it's a it's a framework called the Individual Cross-Cultural Interactions Framework. Um, and people, if they're interested, can find it at iccimodel.com. And um, I created the, the framework because um, I've been thinking a lot, and I still think a lot, about um, interactions between individuals and the fact that each person, each of us, is this amalgam of all these cultural influences. Um, and that we, you know, we may have cultural identities in common or different from the person we're interacting with. And we might also have cross-cultural approaches, um, you know, thoughts, behaviors, feelings that are different or similar to the other person. And so I wanted just to try to create a model that in, in as simple a fashion as possible for a wide audience of people, you know, so people who don't necessarily work in the intercultural fields or work in education even um, could kind of look at and make some sense of and, and it'd be, there'd be enough there to intrigue them to want to think more. So, yeah, so that, that, um, that framework exists and, um, and then, Connected to that, I've also developed a, a podcast that's been um, around since 2018. Um, you can people can find that as well on that, that, that same website. And, and, and in that each episode, I kind of reflect on a recent example, often a recent example from my own life of where I've kind of reflected on a particular cross culture interaction I've had with someone in my life. Um, yeah, so that so that's um, been a, a a large part of my kind of work that I've been doing over the last few years. Uh, 